Hello everyone, this is Duck 2 welcome to another mod overview, this time on Programmer's Chest. A mod that simply adds in a chest, so obviously it's still in inventory, but has you program to actually find out how do I guess put your contents in the chest or do certain other things with it possibly. So uh, yeah, you pretty much just need to use a bunch of commands to sort of navigate the chest in a way. Uh, we'll check images to see if there's much more. That's the recipe. Interesting. So that, that doesn't show up here in GEI, and that's going to stay in. That's not. Okay, so we'll get a crafting table and see if that actually works, because it didn't show up for me there in GEI. So we just need iron blocks and redstone. And I do have, I think, the latest version. That is the. Or is it the only version here? Because it's like a boy 1.0. Yeah, so, okay. Just it doesn't have your uh, support possibly. I don't know. Uh, so we just do this and this and nothing. Or is it a different type of recipe and I'm missing something? Um, we'll get to obviously the other parts eventually. Oh, not redstone block. Whoops. Redstone. Ah, here we go. So that's that. So iron blocks and redstone. So that does work. Just don't obviously go for GEI because the recipe doesn't appear there. Otherwise, once you've obviously got it, you just place it in the world, and you have a home here. So you just go help, no slash help or anything like that, and you've got a list of commands to work with. So you've got help, which obviously tells us this information. We've got inventory, which we'll take a look at. Uh, I assume there's nothing here, so it's not going to tell us anything. We can go exit to exit the chest, and it'll reset everything even. Go help again, and then we'll go cd, which I don't know if that means like it's... No? Okay, so we go ls even, mk directory, there's no actual file name sort of thing, okay, so put, put item count and then, uh, okay. Okay, so we can rename directories, I don't, I assume mk is like make or it's something else, there's putting of items in places and I don't know what ls or cd means, it's probably self-explanatory, it's just it's not coming to mind to me. Um, so I don't know if there's like a specific thing I need to do with the block. So we'll go with like, I don't know, uh, stone. Here we go. So we go help. And mind you, I have no idea how this works, so I'm just experimenting. Um, let's see. Command help. So we'll go inventory help. What does this do? Prints out the contents. Okay. So we've got exit help, which exits the chest. CD help. That is for changing current folder. Okay. Uh, use such and such to go up a folder. Okay, so we just go CD stone or something. Well, it doesn't exist because we haven't created one. MK, what was it again? Directory help. Uh, creates a new folder. Okay, so we might want to do that. We'll go MK directory stone. So that's that. And then we go uh, help again, and we've got access to inventory, which is stone. I mean, what else can we do here? Can't do that, can't do that, no. So we do, let's see, ls help, which is lists the contents. So we go ls, which lists stone, because that's the folder we're in. Uh, what else we've got here? We've got get, which allows us to. Uh, get item name, count, extract items from chests, count is optional. Okay, so we just go get stone one or something. And then we'll just go list. That just says stone. Uh, item name, okay, so get stone one. And that's just that, right? Okay, so if I do like a hopper or something, does that work? Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, so. That doesn't count. Okay, so help. Um, directory put uh, put item name count and set item into chest. Oh, so get is the extract, right? Yeah. Okay, so we want stone. We want that there, and I assume that's like the time or something. That's like probably how much it's some other direction thing. I don't even know. Maybe that's like how many bits or something? I don't know. Either way. So we'll go put and then we'll go stone. Oh, sorry, hang on. Help. And then we'll go put and then help. 
we've got that. Okay, so stone. Hang on, we go ls stone still thing. Yes. So we go stone, and then we go one, and then type help with commands. Okay, so what am I missing here? Stone. Um. Put stone sixty four in list. Nothing help. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, it's not going in. And then we've got this thing on the side, which I assume is like that's a day or night or something, or dimensional maybe. Is blocks or nature or something? There's like a mob one, I assume, and there's a key for security. Well, what? Oh, okay, you can take these out. Okay, so that unlocks that. Okay, so we just go put stone one. What does that do? So we can take the key and open that. Okay. Oh, what? I have no idea what this means. It clearly has a purpose, um, not just some fun thing here, so I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna have to check out the video because I actually don't know. That's the extent I can go for guessing. Um, so, yeah, is there that much information here? I'll just go to the video just in case. Okay, so they made their way home. And then we've got a bunch of resources. It's like, Regular chests, why would we use such a thing? We need a programmer's chest, I don't know. In case we got that. Alrighty, what else do we need to know? Fancy logo and such. Okay, what else is there to tell us? So we've got a bunch of resources of many types here to store in. Alright. So, to be honest, also this can make things a lot more interesting, where it's like, instead of it being you just get stuff from your actual chest, players can't really as much, you have to really know in that what the folder names are, which kind of adds a bit of security in a way, um, and prevents a lot of griefing, so, yeah. That's out the contents. Okay, so just pushing that off screen. So we've got here, inventory. Does that mean it's detecting what's in our inventory then? I assume. Not listing what's in its inventory. So you make a folder. And we know that that's the folder name. And then that's something else. Oh, right, because so you have to go down a level. Right, yeah, yeah, I don't know how I missed that. So we'll go CD stone. And there we go. How did I miss that? See, this is the thing is I haven't actually used proper command lines to as an extent. I only use like bits and pieces, so this is something that technically I would say is kind of out of my area, but I kind of understand how it works. So let's see. So we need to now put stuff. Okay, so instead of it just being that I was just searching for the folder or trying to get in it but missing it, I'm now in it, so I can now put my stone in here. Uh, can I just go 64? Uh, no, no miss. Uh, directory, put 100. So I need more than that or something? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, CD stone. We will put stone 64. Or put that. Put stone 64. Nothing. Uh, let's see. A directory list. Okay, so we go list. Nothing apparently. Uh, hang on, wait. Ls help is that lists the contents of current folder, which is nothing, which we know. We put it in, and then we list it, and then it displays it, but it displays it as like per 64 as well, when you put like a hundred in. Okay. And you get whatever you want out of it. So you import an extract sort of thing here, or insert an extract sort of thing here. And then... what? I have no idea what that meant. Put dot? 
and then star, okay. Interesting. Oh, so it's a put all sort of thing, and then a put a get all. Okay, so instead of like an actual all or something, you just go however much, maybe? Oh, is it? You obviously put the number you want to determine which, but if you're doing like everything, I assume it's just that. I guess? I don't know. Um, what else is there? So they're putting in that there, so I don't know if that's for like anything relevant. Okay, and there's maybe audio compared to what I thought, but most of these usually don't, so I'm just like, yeah, just in case what like, music means. Um, that will like play someone else's video, of course. So you can use that to access stuff. Unless that's just like a visual thing? Mostly it seems like a visual thing there. So, yeah. That seems to be it. So, I kind of get how it works, it's just I have not been successful in putting anything in, unfortunately. So, can I do that or something? And then go, I don't know, put stone 64 in. Can I do mk directory and then go cobbles? Uh, we'll go, I don't know, redstone example. So that'll list that folder, then I assume if we want to go, um, what's it, uh, slash help, I don't even remember. Uh, we want to, I guess, cd redstone. That'll take us down to that. Then we want to put, which will just get a bit of redstone here. Okay, put redstone, uh, put redstone 64. LS, it's done nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, get redstone 64, nothing. Um, inventory redstone, I think. Okay, oh, so you probably want it to detect it first before you actually put it in, would be the, my guess. Redstone 64, no? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Um, that's the extent I can think of. Um, I don't obviously know what I'm doing, so I kind of know. I know that I'm kind of there. It's just I'm missing one little detail. Um, but hopefully the video below by the creator give you a better idea besides my actual sort of attempt at it and uh, sort of how I approached it which may be similar probably the first time, um, if you don't really know what you're doing. But uh, yeah, an interesting pr approach to an inventory that I've not seen before. Um, obviously there's been stuff like computer craft and open computers and other certain things um, where you do programming, but for the sake of inventory storage, that's quite interesting compared to like your A or refined storage or your logistics pipes or slot link sort of, um, you know, you use certain other means to store it with a cell or um, a chest and you connect up pipes and you know, other stuff, but actually storing things in a chest that you have to navigate by programming or using commands, that's uh, quite an interesting, but uh, that's, that's a very interesting idea I've not seen before. Obviously it took quite a bit, um, even if there's you know, a few commands and there's a lot of interesting stuff in this interface, or UI, but uh, yeah, definitely an interesting mod. Um, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.